Hey guys, how y'all doing? It's your girl Root. Welcome back to Fucus. Said the name right. Hey. <laughs> how y'all doing? Anybody new? Thank y'all for coming. Anybody been rocking with me? Thank y'all for coming back. This is the third part three, and I don't know if it's going to be on to four. It might. But anyway, yeah, this is people who were born uh, from November 29th. This is the ancient astrology to December 17th. And uh, like I have up here, the 13 signs of astrology. Uh, I wish I could make a whole new birth chart. And it is the ninth uh, house. Okay. So, yeah. Let's see what else I want to say. Okay, that's it. But, yeah, I, um, as y'all can tell by the title, I'm still on my quest to find out what's really going on in this world. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm just throwing out bits and pieces and things that happen in my life, you know, and, and other people that I know and, uh, you know, what they know and what their opinion or fact or fiction, whatever it may be. Uh, I got my two elephants down, but it's, I know it's supposed to be snakes because a fucus is the snake, the healer. So whoever's born on those days, you probably be extra healer and you probably feel different. And free spirited, you're not okay. We're in the age of Aquarius. Aquarius is, you know, a woman pouring out all the crap. Okay. So, okay, let's get started. Okay, let's do a little bit on Andromeda's. Then we're gonna go to the next one. So, okay, Andromeda's. Okay, they were supposed to be as women aliens. Uh, there are men in there also, but the women are like is more dominant. They are matriarchy. So then we got the reptilians and other male figures are patriarchs, okay? So uh, Andromeda's believe in to stop, they want to stop all this crap that is going on in the world, okay? Stop genocide, abuse, disrespect of women and children. Um, you know, they want to rise. They want to raise the woman up. This is during the time, that's why Age of Aquarius, okay? But we also got a fucus, okay? Okay, let's keep on going. Be unhealthy. He said they want you to be healthy, eating right, and, you know, taking care of, of Mother Nature, okay? Mother Earth. Animals, insects, all females, enslaved, and stop enslaving animals that are used for food. Stop, stop doing that. They want us to completely stop that stuff. Don't want women to be... Uh, uh, the, the patriarchs, they say, don't want women to be happily married. Don't want to have a strong man in their family line, okay? Um, okay, need to learn. Uh, we all need to learn the myth of the lefty. I'm just going to throw that out there. Improving, um, empowering women. That's what they're doing. Women are the beast, okay? Now, my girl, Furbu, she, she's an uh, and, uh, Andromeda, and she gets downloads, and she's saying, saying things that are happening, and we can notice ourselves. So, the patriarchy is making storms and other things to stop the, the uh, matriarchy to change things, because they don't want to stop the control of how they're treating women and what they're doing to the world, okay? Um... Uh, Okay, like I was saying about the age of Aquarius, okay? Uh, the Andromeda beings are working with, you know, uh, a fucus, okay? Stopping trafficking of children and women from the reptilians, okay? Uh, the Andromedas are doing the earthquake. They're, not, they, they're doing the earthquakes underground. So any earthquake is to get rid of the reptilians that are out under the, in the caves and the caverns and, and the underground, Okay? Aquarius are women pouring the water out in the zodiac. So I'm not sure I just talked about that. The greys also are trying to infect women and people. So the greys are also, we talked about that also in the last time. The greys are also patriarch, patriarch and men. They have women, but the men are the very dominant state, okay? They have been cleaning up those who hurt childish children and women. They are in, in uh, they have... The reptilians and the greys are in court. Men are doing the shadow work to get this. The men, our men, that know there's been wrong, especially the human beings, not including the other beings, and realizing how wrong this was, 
So they doing the shadow work to get that evenness out of them that's been put in them so they can be free and respect and love and be there for their families, their children, you know? Those who came to her and steal from Mother Earth, this will stop, okay? Now, I agree wholeheartedly with what they're saying so far. Many men, and, many women are doing the rituals to get rid of the evilness on our planet to hurt us men and women of peace, okay? Um, Mama Wata, okay? Keep that name in mind. Stop hurting the melanated women and men. Stop hurting, and also y'all stop hurting each other, okay? For what? All beings should be allowed to lead peacefully. This is what they believe and safe without destruction. When you work on self, you respect all others. Don't let pain make you hurt, make you hurt others. And don't let your, your don't let them use you through your pain either, okay? Those thoughts come in your mind. Don't let don't let it happen, okay? Stopping them from harvesting children and others energies underground empowering each other so they using our children all that's coming up missing and the women and men as well their organs inside they're using it they're selling it to other human beings you know it's a whole racket going on been going on for i don't probably before us humans got here we'll read a little more women love women love each other heal so you can we got to love we stop coming against each other and being jealous my motto, baby, I ain't jealous of you with the so-called person who say my man. Because <laughs> if he ain't treating me right, he ain't my man. So I'm not finna fight and all go over him and embarrass myself. You know, you could tell when a man is either in pain, been taught, or love women. Been taught to pain women. Or love women. You could tell that. He won't disrespect you. You know what I'm saying? So we got to know the difference. Um, women, you can stand strong with or without a man. Please, some women understand that. So I'm going to put it to y'all like this. Y'all don't like Trump. But one of the reasons that he built up the walls, he was not only just building up the walls, he was trying to stop the reptilians for, for trafficking the women and the children underground. It was deeper than that. They go through Mexico to do this. Mexico is a big part of that. You know, okay? To get to other countries. You had a power to change anything, women, men. That's of love and peace. Take your power back. Give a, um, give depth to the victim mindset. Forget that. Stop being a victim. Stuff that happened, you're supposed to went through that. People that done you wrong, you're supposed to, it's supposed to make you stronger, not weak and complaining and bitter and hateful. And jealous of the next woman who might have a good man or woman that's doing it. And you want to break it up and get off all into that unnecessary disrespect. They're not having it no more, y'all. So don't get caught up. You are loved, they're telling you. Turn the negative into positive. Change your circle. When you work on self, you can be comfortable around women. Okay? Good, healthy men want the best for women. Just talk about that. Good, healthy men that, that know they self. They love they self. So why would they disrespect themselves, the other men, especially a woman because they got moms, they got sisters, they got aunties, uncles, grandmas. You see what I'm saying? The archons are warriors, okay? They're women, okay? They want us to honor and respect ourselves, okay? Okay, um... I was looking at a video and I was checking out the New World Order and they stopped it. It's coming to a halt. There's fighting going on that we don't even know nothing about, y'all. Trembling and different things going on. That's been for centuries. I told y'all that the last time. Them wars ain't even been about us humans. They've been about who gonna control who. Who wanna free who. Okay? Um underground tunnels on the churches, Walmart, airports, you know what I'm saying? It's a big old sign in Georgia that says they want us 
uh, get rid of 500 million. I thought it's 500,000, but it's 500 million. I mean, they want only 500 million people living on the earth. And they try to convince you and mess with your mind to say that the world is crowded. When they made these neighborhoods and they made these cities so close together that if you don't go out and you don't start traveling and seeing the world, you're going to believe that. So free your mind and pay attention. Well, you're surrounded. How many empty lots are just in your neighborhood alone or when you come out your neighborhood? Come on now, it's enough room for everybody. Way too, we got parts of this earth that ain't been discovered yet. Okay, why are the patriarch, patriarch or whoever, whether it be aliens or humans, want to hurt people in this, in this way? Even trying to stop them from coming back to earth after they pass. So I was wondering about the cremation, okay? And the being buried in a coffin. And I read y'all the last thing where it says Mother Earth learns from us through our bodies when we die, when the, we come back to a dirt. And they, she learns things from us. So if we're getting burned and ashes and we're in the coffins where we can't touch the earth, <clears throat> excuse me, do she learn? I don't know, just something I was thinking about. Why would y'all want to control people like that? Then, uh, then in the airport in, in Denver, it's a sign that says A-U-A-G which means virus. And she, the lady says it means something else, okay? And uh, the man that went there said he know that means gold and silver. So he was wondering, is there going to, they made this video way before this virus started, was there going to be a worldwide virus? And we already know, they already got it out, okay? So they lied and told him none of that was true. But it is. They want to depopulate the people, okay? Um... Are those the reptilians? Okay. Like the Andromeda women know or now. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to put. Ten commands, all different languages. So oh, that had on that. Um, okay. He went see the site of the. He went see the sign. They had the 500 million. It was in Georgia. And it had a uh, different type of languages written on it. And uh, it had the New World Order, different things on it. Matter of fact, I got some things that's uh, showing about that. Okay, where is it? Um, I didn't uh, think about scripting it, so it is what it is. I'm going to show you. Okay. Um, I thought it was going to mess up. I was going to say, no, you ain't going to trip me out. Okay, so we got, what is this? That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Hold on, y'all. I don't want to lose my time. Wait a minute. I'm going to turn the light on so y'all can make sure y'all see it good. Come on, bookie. So yeah, this is the New World Order, as we all heard of. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, it says March. I didn't get the whole date, sorry about that. New World Airport. That's in the airport, okay? All this stuff here, that's the A. The one I was talking about, the A, what is it? A-U-A-G, that's in the airport. And that's a place that he uh, went to, okay? Uh, Georgia, uh, Godstones, that's whatever it's made out of. And Georgia is the central of that. So you're the 500, 5 million. Humanity, wait a minute. That's somewhat of the, yeah, he went flew to Georgia. This is the stone. All right, well, let me get the dig. I thought I'd be able to read it. Unite humans with a living new a new language, rule, passion, faith, tradition, and all things with tempered 
reason. Okay. Oh, shoot. Sorry about that. Okay, say some more stuff. But yeah, y'all can look at it yourself. Um, this the man that this guy, alien or something, came in his office and he the one paid for everything to be done. And he swore this man to secrecy and he took it, I guess, to his grave. He's not telling anything. Okay. This anymore. No. It's just some more pictures of uh Oh, this also was in the lot in the uh airport as well this the underground she took him to the underground of the airport to say everything was a lie but she showed her the blueprint of uh how it's made like a um that nazi symbol i forgot what you call it but that doesn't mean bad my research but this is the paintings on the wall sorrow looking like this but she claimed it's to stop the sorrow and to make everybody start loving their, each other but this don't look like loving each other to me you know what i'm saying but anyway okay so let me see why well, i stop there uh they claim the world is full okay yeah that was another page okay um okay remember those movies i don't know how old y'all are remember those movies logan's run demolition man etc those were the movies that was trying to show us ahead of time. This is what they want to happen. They want to be in like a dome state and a certain amount of people where they can control them. And you remember on, the, on those movies, they always died at a certain age. They would kill them after a certain age and convince them that it was so good for them to do that. Just like they did when they had uh, sacrificing children and other people. They had, from birth, they were taught that they should be honored to be sacrificed for the gods okay let's go on <laughs> okay uh, what i got the man who built a building said he was uh, oh and remember back and i was looking thinking about the bible and remember nimrod tried to build a big old city he wanted to take everybody er, control of the world also and he was stopped okay remember that um so war, panic, etc., to get rid of people. So that's what they got going on now. So don't y'all be afraid of anything. Go to the Bible. Okay, now nah, I'm going to skip that because I was going to go in Revelations. It's a part of Revelations that talks about everything. They're talking about the New World Order. But it also ends with everyone being alive and free and reading from the free tree of life. So that's where I guess the Andromeda's and... and um, a few cause and people like him are coming and and letting you know all of that is going to be stopped um okay let's see what else i w oh i was amazed with the disrespect of the um the uh let me see where i can find it again the statue of this was supposed to be the Statue of Liberty given to France for the Americas. Okay, it was um, connection. Uh, when was it? Um, oh, I wasn't on that part yet. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, you know, and and then they end up with. Oh no! Let me check on some stuff. Okay. You know, to end up this Bafa was supposed to be the the owl that they worship and all that kind of stuff, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I don't know, I just oh trip me out. Okay, let's see. Oh, that was the giant yeah. The giant owl that I just showed y'all. Okay. Um, knowledge of all things. Okay, Mont Rio, 19, 1872, Bohemian Club. They was talking about, there was another video I was listening to, and they was amazed. The one, the same thing about the uh, New World Order. The United Nations get their instructions from the Council of 24. We need to, I, talk, I mentioned that. We talk about that. Those are people, beings, and humanoids that's on the, uh, around the table or council that have that uh say what goes on on earth okay um you know like in the car we can't see them okay um the uh, creation of care that's supposed to be okay 
whether by created people do mother and women I'll ask the question by cremated oh okay I did that okay uh what I want to say yeah so anyway about the council 24 uh they were supposed they are in charge they told the Illuminati to start telling everybody about everything you know Illuminati is a mixture of all kind of beings and human beings that still want the control and the technology okay the Andromeda is a very skilled in that technology as well like I mentioned but they did not tell us yet otherwise they say if us humans don't start being responsible for ourselves because we're a mixture of all of them y'all so that should make us powerful to handle not just to go after them unless it's necessary but to stop treating mother earth like we do stop disrespecting her you know are they going to destroy us and they have the means because it's a higher than them and um that they get their orders from and although we might be mixture with all of them i don't think we could beat them okay okay i was talking about the statue of liberty yeah and I was wondering why the real Statue of Liberty is turning green. Because you remember they said that the blacks were green first. So just a thought. Okay. Um, remember that in the Bible says Rachel's why, uh, uh, weeping for her children. And that's, that's what they heard. That's what uh, was going on. That's why they're here. They're tired of the weeping. For their children you know they tired of all the disrespect so now it's action time it says why does rachel weep for her children how to do with have to do with the innocence or with mary okay it says monarchy of the old testament is buried near jerusalem by bethlehem and for the centuries has had the role of intercessors intercessors okay then they show first they show this picture of uh, weeping then they showed the statue of liberty okay then this is the one with i'll just show y'all about the black chains at her feet okay well, let me see let me continue reading hopefully i don't have to go out right quick the monarchy that's the women of the old testament is, is burned buried near bethlehem and the centuries has had the role of inter intercessor see why mary is the new rachel we are familiar with the heart heartbreaking story of first little ones who had to give their lives for jesus these known as the holy innocents slaughtered because of harold's jealous rage i'm gonna go ahead and end this and start over y'all on part four i'll be right back like subscribe share and comment